you messed it up. <laughs> You're stupid. We uh, do have an interesting daily dose of stupid for you today. Now, it's kind of a combination of two stories, but um, the main one, and this is what sort of kicked all of this off, the Daily Caller posted something on their Twitter the other day that showed a, uh, showed a woman and a picture of a woman that is at a pro-abortion event. And these are the earrings that she had. It looks like they're some kind of custom job that she did. But anyway, these are the earrings that she had on display the other day. So if you see this tweet from the Daily Caller, you'll notice that it's this lady who has a earring with a crocodile eating a baby. And she has one of the little scarfs there that says, keep abortion legal across her neck. This is at a pro-choice event of some kind. And there's a couple things that I wanted to bring up about this. I'm not sure if this is supposed to be a reference to Exodus. Because if you're familiar with the Exodus story, you know that one of the first things that happens in Exodus, and the reason that Moses is a part of the royal family there in Egypt, is because there was a decree that went out by Pharaoh that all male babies of the Hebrews under the age of two must be thrown into the Nile. And this took place... And the Bible doesn't specifically reference the crocodiles, but it's a safe bet to assume that the crocodiles consumed at least a, a good number of those babies, because the Nile is a waterway that happens to have crocodiles in it. And so, again, this isn't something that is a surefire, oh, absolutely, this is the reference that was being made by this earring of a crocodile eating a human baby. But... It's really odd either way because I'm not sure if that makes it better or worse. Like, I'm not sure if her knowing and intentionally referencing the biblical story of Exodus is it paints her in a better light or a worse light. And here's what I mean by that. Because if this is a reference to that biblical story, at the very least what she's doing is openly defying God, basically putting those things on and saying, I know that God is against abortion, and I've heard people equating abortion to the biblical story where babies that, by the way, could have been up to two years old, were cast into the Nile to be consumed by crocodiles, or to be killed whether that was the method or not. And I'm openly doing this in defiance of that and saying, sure, I know it's just like that. I don't care. I'm advocating for that. Well, at the very least, you're making a, a bold declaration. I know that this is what God says. I know this is what the Bible says, and I don't care. And another thing, this is super anti-Semitic. Because this was a specifically racially motivated event where the Pharaoh, the king of Egypt, wanted to bring harm onto a specific race of people because he wanted the land to be preserved for his own people. It was a very nationalist kind of policy. And see, it would be kind of like having earrings that commemorate the Holocaust. I mean, that's about on par with the level of disparity and er, despair and evil that took place in this event. This is one of the darkest moments in the Jewish people's history. So if it is supposed to be referencing Exodus, it's not only blasphemous, but horrendously anti-Semitic and anti-Jew. And if the opposite is the case, which, by the way, that wouldn't really surprise me, considering the founder of Planned Parenthood, Margaret Sanger, specifically advocated for abortion because she wanted to wipe out human weeds, which included black people, Jews, and a number of other categories that she felt fit into that category. But also, if you're looking at it from the other angle, and you're saying, well, she wasn't specifically referencing that Bible story, you've still got to be a pretty sick individual to just want a depiction of a crocodile eating a human baby hanging from your earrings to voice your support of abortion. Like, that's a... Even if it had nothing to do, she was not intentionally referencing that Bible story at all, you've got to be a pretty sick person to depict that. 
And it shows the level of depravity that the people that are in favor of abortion go to that they do relish and covet killing children that they know it's a baby because that's ba basically them saying we know it's a baby we just don't care we want the practice we want the convenience we want to be able to kill our own children when we want to and we just don't care <laughs> So now they have this fancy new technology where you click on one of these boxes and it takes you to another one of my videos. Hopefully it works a lot better than the Obamacare website or the DNC's Iowa caucus app. Gotta love that big government central planning. <laughs>